History was made in August when the first electronic prescription for a controlled substance was sent from a Dr. First prescriber in Bethesda, Maryland to a shopper's pharmacy in Alexandria, Virginia, which is owned and operated by SuperValue. I was able to learn EPCS uh, prescription writing very easily, very quickly. And now I use it on a daily basis, and it's very easy. Uh, once you get used to it and have a favorite list made up, I can now prescribe medication uh, faster than I was able to write uh, through the old-fashioned handwritten prescriptions. As early as 2004, we recognized there were big gaps in e-prescribing that without controlled substances included, you're missing up to 20% of prescriptions for an average doctor and much more for some. So in looking to solve that problem, we realized one of the key challenges would be helping the DEA get a level of comfort around the whole process. I mean, they were very concerned that they'd be able to prosecute effectively in the event of fraud. Um, they really needed to be able to tie a specific doctor to a specific script in a way that couldn't be repudiated. We saw a pain point for our practices and, and prescribers that they had to use two workflows for prescribing. They could send non-controlled substances or legend drugs electronically, but they had to either print out and sign control drugs, or they had to actually use a paper prescription pad to send control drugs. And that was complicated for them and inefficient. So we wanted to allow the practices to be able to send all their prescriptions electronically. We also thought this was good for the safety of patients uh, by allowing the control drugs to be checked for clinical alerts and eliminating the transcription errors, and also we believe it will reduce diversion of these prescriptions for, the, for improper uses. EPCS Gold is a little bit more complicated than sending prescriptions for non-controlled substances because it requires a two-factor authentication. The doctor needs to be able to prove that they both have the signing device and the password to use it uh, so that it, those are the two factors that they have. We're using something called a one-time password. A lot of people have seen th things like this where it'll display six digits that can be entered into the system. It changes every minute and it's matched to the server uniquely. Only this device will have that number on it. So the servers know which device it is, match it to the password, and then you know that the signer both has the device and has the password to, to authenticate it. So the future of EPCS, we believe, is something that every doctor is using to prescribe controlled substances so that we can meet the whole country's goals of uh, ending drug diversion, ending fraud and abuse around these very important drugs. Mm -hmm.